In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can estimate model parameters using measured data. We have a model of a motor driven by a servo amplifier. When we run the simulation, these are the results that we get. However, when we compare it to measured data from the actual system, we can see that these results do not match. A likely cause of this is that the model parameters are incorrect. To fix this problem, we're going to use Simulink design optimization to automatically tune the model parameters until the model produces realistic results. These are some of the parameters that we have in our motor. We're going to tune them until the results of the simulation match the measured results. Here are the steps that we'll go through. First, we will import the measurement data and select the data we will use for the estimation. Next, we will identify the parameters and the valid ranges for them. And finally, we will perform the parameter estimation. I will now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. A DC motor is driven backwards and forwards using an H-bridge circuit. When we run the simulation, we can see how it performs. The yellow line is the simulation results from the model, and the pink line is from measured data. We can see that they don't match. We are fairly certain that the reason is that parameters in our model are incorrect. Here we have defined them as MATLAB variables. These are the things that we wish to tune. In order to tune them, I'm going to use optimization algorithms, and I'm going to open up Simulink Design Optimization to accelerate that process. Here you can see the measured data. We want our simulation results to match these. These are the parameters that we wish to tune. I showed you the MATLAB variables in the model themselves. Here you can see the, one, the variables that we will tune, and we have set ranges for each of them. Now that we have the data and we've selected our parameters, we can run the estimation. During the estimation, we will get updates as to how the simulation is going, how the event parameter values are evolving during the estimation, and we can see the number of runs that have taken place. So each time you see the simulation results down here blink, that means Simulink Design Optimization has run the model, compared the simulation results to the measured data, checked to see the sensitivity of the simulation to the parameters that it is tuning, come up with a new recommendation for the parameter values and has prepared to run the simulation again. And you can see that this optimization process is running fairly quickly. Even if I knew the exact set of values I wanted to change, I wouldn't be able to enter them and rerun the simulation this quickly. Now in this particular case, we are running the simulations sequentially one after the other. However, we could accelerate this process even further by running the, par by running the simulations in parallel. By simply selecting a checkbox and using Parallel Computing Toolbox, we could distribute these simulations across multiple cores on a single machine or across a computing cluster, and that would accelerate this process even further. So we can see that after a relatively short period of time, our simulation results are much closer to the measured data, and we can see that it has made quite a few changes in the parameter values in order to get them closer to the final results. At this point, I'm going to stop the estimation um, because I can see the results are already much better. This, the, optim the estimation would continue until the results of the simulation are within the tolerances that we set up for this estimation problem. But again, um, the results are quite close at this point, so we'll simply let the estimation run through one more iteration and then stop, stop it there. And then I'll load the final results and show you what those look like. So we'll stop the estimation here. I will load the final set of results and rerun the simulation and you can see that the results match extremely well. In this demonstration, we have seen how optimization algorithms can accelerate the process of tuning a model to match measured data.